Hey guys, what's up? McLean here. Welcome back to Solo Cup Stories, an ongoing series on McLean vlogs where I get together with friends, have a couple of drinks, and tell stories. This is episode five, part one. Behind the camera, we have Izzy Mansky. At the bar, we have Andrew Harris. My special guest is Lexis, and I am your host, McLean. Hey guys, what's up? McLean here. Welcome back to Solo Cup Stories. This is episode five. I'm super excited for this episode because I have my special guest, Lexis. How's it been? Um, you know, thriving, surviving, not much else. <laughs> but yes, this episode is special because it has two themes, Valentine's Day stories, love stories, whatever people chose to send in about Valentine's Day. And because it's Black History Month, who knows if we're gonna be reading statements and stories about why people are proud to be black as a way to celebrate our culture. So it's gonna be an exciting episode. Heck yeah, I'm, I'm excited. super excited. Me too. Let's hand it over to Andrew so that we can see what today's featured drink is. How's it going, everybody? Today's featured drink is a fistful of dollars. Here's a little history on it. For Fistful of Dollars is a cocktail created by Amos Muhammad, a very creative bartender based in Detroit. In 2017 for Black History Month, he had an interview in which he discussed how people of color have been instrumental since the beginning of spirits in America. He mentions Cato Alexander, one of the first famous black bartenders. In early 1800s New York, Mr. Alexander was a freed slave who then opened up an inn near the New York City Hall, a tavern that became quite popular over time. Cato Alexander is sometimes referred to as the father of mixology, but there are other black historical figures who can hold that title as well. If you'd like to delve into the history of African American mixologists, you can find resource links in the description below. But for now, let me show you how to make an identical version of Amos Muhammad's for a fistful of dollars. Here's what you'll need. An ounce and a half of blended scotch, half an ounce of single malt scotch or peated bourbon, three fourths ounces of dry curacao, quarter of an ounce of simple syrup, an ice cube, a lighter, and a dry bay leaf. The original recipe includes an orange peel, but we're going without that for now. I'll be using premium liquor to make this, so if you're interested in making this drink as well, I'd look into exploring affordable alternatives. Alright, let's get to it! And there you have it, two fistful of dollars. So All righty, we got our featured drink. It looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. A fistful of dollars. I wish I had a fistful of a thousand dollars. I wish be. I had a fistful of every dollar. Oh, every right. dollar that's only a bill. But why do they name it dollar bill? A dollar fill or dollar quill? Why aren't they just named after the president that's on them? For hundreds only. There's oh, Washingtons. Yeah. Hamiltons. Benjamin. Lincoln. I don't know what that is. It's a penny bitch. Right. Let's try these featured drinks. A fistful of dollars. Look at this. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it burns. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Get her some napkins. Oh, my bad. <laughs> You're trying to kill me. <laughs> oh. This is definitely. A drink an acquired to, taste. Yes, it is nice and smoky, and it's a sipping drink. This is not something you can just like drink like Moscato or better yet water. Um, but it has a very unique taste. Right now, I'm getting like pencil vibes. Like, so, so I know some people like that. You know, when it when they take a shot and then they're like, oh yeah, that makes me feel like a man inside. You know, this is what I could picture like. My granddad drinking like, like Zeus would drink this. <laughs> yes, Caesar like, would drink this. Yeah, this is like Julius. A, is Julius Caesar? Same person. Yeah. The Hulk. The Rock. Yeah. Obama's dad. Yes. Michelle Obama would drink this. Yes. Andrew, he's a great mixologist, but this hurt me a little bit. 
it definitely made me cry. But I enjoyed it. It makes me feel like a man. I don't ever want to be a man, but you know, if I were a man, this is what I would drink. It's time to tell some stories. Izzy, why don't you hand us the envelopes? Oh, this is so I cute. Look at that. Find us. me on Instagram. Find me on Instagram, Cobra Bubbles. These are fake. These are fake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into these stories. They're so cute. These were nicely decorated for a Valentine's oh. Day and Black History Month themes. So let's give it up to Izzy. She uses the Cricut. Link below if you want one. If we like a story, we let it fly. Mm -hmm. If we don't like a story, we let it sink, which just means we're dropping it. So I'm gonna go first. We have stories from online. We have story submissions from our viewers. If you would like to submit a story for future episodes, you can do that by clicking the link in the description below. You can submit a story at any time, despite the theme, just so that we have a collection of stories for future episodes. All right, let's look into our first story. This is from Reddit, username Skyrain underscore Valentine's Day plans is the title of said story. I got my husband a delivery service breakfast tray with balloons and he's probably giving me flowers or chocolates. Then we are planning to order dinner from a fancy Italian place, light some candles and play some slow music. Honestly, this sounds so much better than going to a restaurant already that we might end up doing this every year regardless of lockdown. Okay, cute. You yeah. gotta be innovative. Yeah, you have you to gotta... still, you know, appreciate your partner. I definitely right. think that there's a huge stigma when it comes to Valentine's Day a little bit. That's like, you know, when you have sweetest days for the men and Valentine's Day is like all about the women, you know? Yeah. Right. But I don't know. I kind of like going all out for my man on Valentine's yeah. Day. I think it's cute. It's my time to be creative. Right. Because like, why not? Yeah. Like, why not make something special if you have the means to? Absolutely. And, you know, it's not about grand gestures. It's about knowing what the other significant can other ones and like right. adapting to it in the most cutest ways possible. possible. Yeah. Right? We love the story. I Let's like let one. it fly. It flew beautifully. My turn. Okay, so this is also from Reddit. The user is Metroid Mart. I planned with my honey an online dinner. I'm gonna do a few multiplayer games with her. She's a competitive gamer. And I sent her a gift that should arrive any minute now at her place. A bracelet that she's had her eyes on for months and I got it for her. That's super cute. You know what? Men who remember things like mm -hmm. that, it matters to me. Like I like when I can point something out in the store, right. you know, and you know, I don't need you to buy me it right now. I'm just like a little, you know, it's like take just notes. a hinty hint, you know? Because <laughs> me and my partner, like our anniversaries and my birthday and Christmas and Valentine's Day, like all come right after nice. each other. So like we just yeah. did like one like giant gift. Okay. But nice. this is cute, definitely thoughtful. Yeah, and I yeah, like it. I like it. Release! <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Before I read this next story, I would like to thank all of my viewers who submitted some stories for past episodes and this episodes. I really appreciate it. Your stories have been wonderful. So remember that you can always submit a story at any time, regardless of the theme. In the description below, you will find the link for that. Make sure to stay for the end of this video to find out what next month's episode theme is so that you can submit stories for that episode as well. All right, this story is a viewer submission from Lucia. Celebrating POC individuals is the theme of this following statement. I'm going to, for the first time, attempt painting dark skin tones in watercolor. It's not only up to POCs to create POC characters in the media, so I wanna be able to support others through my art and to show that it's not hard to create diversity in every aspect. I really like this because there's a lot of artists becoming more active last year because of quarantine. And so regardless of the ethnicity or the cultural background of said artists, a lot of statements like this were either made to defend artists or to call out artists who claim to be diverse, but then their art is mainly not representing the entire world. So I totally love this statement. I support it. We yeah, love it. So love it. let's let For sure. diversity fly. Yes. This is also from Reddit. The mm -hmm. username is WW76KH. All right, it's kind of a longer one. This is a uh, Valentine's Day plans. Cool, cool. My husband and I are doing exactly what we do every year. It was a joke we did on our first Valentine's Day and we've kept up with the tradition. We buy three pizzas, two for the kids, one for us. We'll lock ourselves in our bedroom with strict or to the kids, all teenagers, to not bother us unless someone is bleeding enough to have to go to the ER <laughs> or the house is on fire and it's not 
something that they can quickly put out themselves. We then eat the pizza in bed and watch whatever we can find on TV or Netflix. Both of us really, really look forward to this. I had surgery scheduled for the day after one year and we specifically made sure to rework our plan so we could be snuggled in bed and eating before my eating cutoff time at 7 p.m. This wow. is super cute. This is dedication, yes. planning, preparation, organization while still doing what you can and what you want. Right, and I think mm. it's important too because for me at least, you know, being in long-term relationships, mm. you know, it sometimes happens too, but I don't have any kids, you know, so I can't speak either. for it. But I do have friends who have kids and it's really, really important to keep that love alive with your yeah. partner, you know? So I think yeah. that this quality time that they do every year mm -hmm. isn't even just Valentine's Day. I right. think it's, it's just self -care. really cute. Like, yeah. it's just necessary. It's necessary why and it's not? genuine. Yeah. And it's simple. I like simple. I'm yes. not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, too hard to please. Yeah. Maybe um. Yes. So yeah, I think this is really cute. I like it. Yes, let it fly. Let it fly. Yes. All right, let's go on to the next story. This one is from a viewer. Bad Jane is the username. And this story is a little bit longer than the usual ones that we normally get. So make sure to grab your popcorn and buckle up because we're about to go on a very interesting journey. Uh, the story is love themed. And what we're doing here, since it's a pretty long one, is we're gonna split the story, right? So I'm gonna read part one. Lexus will read part two. As much as there's no character limit instructions, if you so choose to submit a story, just remember to be short and concise and if it's a little bit longer than normal, at least get to the point. So that way it's easy for us to read. Let's get into the story. The title is called Believe Yourself and Do Not Lessen for Anyone. Let's get into it. I understand the dating scene and how honest to God it is very difficult to find a normal human being. Some points to remember. I am a woman of color and I was in my early 20s. I had recently come home from college and was desperately trying to find a boyfriend. I met this guy on an app. We'll call him Super Dumb Sam. He seemed cool, so we exchanged numbers. We texted consistently for about three months. It was getting close to stupid Sam's birthday and we she went from dumb to stupid. <laughs> it was getting close to stupid Sam's birthday and he wanted to go to Dave and Buster's. He wanted me to meet him and his entire family. He doesn't drive because his license is suspended or was suspended um, and he couldn't afford a car. He also had serious money management issues. Needless to say, his sister was going to drive him to Dave and Buster's. We also agreed that we'd meet at the Dave and Buster's closest to me since I also didn't have a lot of money or time to drive a car. It's the day of and I don't hear from him till about 6 p.m. I'm calling and calling him. I'm sitting at home dressed, waiting to leave, only to find out that his sister drove him to the farther location of Dave and Buster's in the suburbs. He still wants to see me. He agreed to buy me an Uber, which was about 60 bucks. I arrived to see him, his sister, his niece, his nephew, and his brother-in-law. They were all eyeing me down like a piece of salami sausage. Why salami? Because everybody loves salami. Me. Anywho, <laughs> what's salami sausage? Please comment, comment below. below. Please, what if you've ever had sausage? salami, yeah, I need to know what that is. And if you know how to cook it, give us the recipe, and that can be our what salami sausage that episode. In? Of what do you SCS? put salami sausage in? Your mouth. Um, I get there and we hug. He tries to introduce me to his sister and she not only turns her back to me, but she immediately begins to speak to him in a different language because you guessed it, we are not the same nationality. That wasn't an issue for me, but apparently it was for his sister. That was part one, let's continue to part two. Let's see if we can get through this. Within the next 20 minutes, his family starts to leave and his sister says in English, if you don't come with us now, you know you're not gonna have a ride home. He tells them that he has money and we'll figure it out. So after being left behind and disrespected by his sister, we try to have a good time. We play games, buy drinks, and hang out. I start to get hungry, so he suggests that we go get tacos or something. So he gave me his phone to call a Lyft. I get an error message from Lyft saying that it, they can't process the trip. Once I get the third error message, it says insufficient funds. Now I'm freaking out because I really don't like to travel outside of my own territory. I get really bad with directions and it gives me severe anxiety. So the thought of being stuck in a non-black suburb where I am more than an hour from home, that's, it's like an end, I don't know if that, or I think this might be a sentence. Like that's period. I'm more than an hour from home, period. Oh. I can read, I promise. <laughs> I figured it was an accident, so I talked to him. Apparently he had just gotten paid, but due to his poor money management, he gave $600 to his sister and left me with a hundred on his car. 
Well, he had already spent the 60 on my Uber to get there and the rest of the 40 on our drinks and games. So at this point, you can guess, we are stranded. I asked, Will, if Will, if you knew this, why didn't you leave with your sister? Right, right. He looked me dead in the eyes and said, well, you don't have any money? Mm. Aren't you gonna take care of me? Yeah, my soul left my body, as did mine, honey. And I started to freak out. Stupid Sam, we can find a better name for him, did not care. He, he proceeded cool, to go really. to the bathroom <laughs> several times to drink canned natural ice beers. The only reason why I knew this was because by the fourth trip to the bathroom, he stopped concealing the cans of beer he was carrying. By this time, he was so drunk that he fell. Ah! Oh, a mean person fell over. I'm laughing. By this time, he was so drunk, he fell on the table. Oh, fell oh. asleep. Oh, thank God. She tries to wake him up and tell him that we need to call your sister. He tosses his phone at me, and I tried to contact her. His eldest sister picked up the phone. I told her the situation and this girl proceeds to grill me how I'm basically a loser slut and I should have known better than to go out with a man like this I'm like isn't this your brother why are you right, blaming right, right. me when you know your own brother is a loser right and so instead of apologizing she literally spent all 15 of those minutes trying to belittle me she then calls the other sisters in and at some point I am on the phone with four women who think I'm a slut and broke and trying to use their half brain broken brother. I cut the conversation and used my formal corporate voice. I said, here are your options. You can come get your brother because we are both stranded and I can just get a ride from your house or I can leave him here and you can deal with whatever he's already put himself into. I really hope you left. That's the first thing. I really hope you left. Part three. Oh, so there's oh. three parts apparently. We're okay, just wait, now getting Can I talk about this part for a second? Cause this, what? Sam. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You have sisters and you treat women like this? If you got women in the house and you don't know how to treat one, this is very interesting. Obviously, that's some psychological stuff that we don't know yeah, about. This is some deep seated issues. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. Yeah. You're um, lucky. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see if something Right, else, we'll see. Like, right, yeah. well, this man been is surprising karma. so far, so we'll is see. Is karma ahead? Checking in with my producers, three parts? Okay, three parts. there are three parts. Want to know what happens next? Make sure to catch part two of this episode coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to McLean Vlogs to see more. Make sure to turn that notification bell on so that you know when part two of this episode is available to watch. That way you figure out what happens next in this very dramatic story. Make sure to follow my special guest. Her info will be in the description below. And make sure to follow me. That way you can stay updated for future content. The theme of March's episode of Solo Cup Stories will be St. Patty's Day and Women's History Month. So if you have any weird, interesting, awkward, crazy, drunk stories or any awesome statements about women empowerment, go ahead and submit them by clicking the link in the description below. See you next time.